welcome back gang to harpo gang's kitchen back like we never left you already know what it is we signed up anyways um i be cooking for real it's just that i don't be recording a lot but it's okay don't worry about it because anyways here we are um so today i decided that i want to make this butter chicken i don't know why We've been acting like we never had Indian food before, but you know how y'all do. We be acting like we ain't never had nothing else besides soul food. I went to this Indian spot not too long ago. It was fire. It reminded me of how good and flavorful their cuisine is. Uh, for the ingredients, from what I have researched, we are gonna need some all-purpose seasoning, which is just like seasoning salt, oregano, paprika, a little bit of chili powder, bay leaves, black pepper, um, this is the magic trick right here. The garam masala is gonna be what makes all the difference. I'm also gonna need some butter. They use Greek yogurt, but I don't I don't do milk mm. at all. So we're gonna use non-dairy cashew milk yogurt, coconut cream instead of heavy cream or double cream. Because again, we don't do cow milk. Cow milk is for baby cows ginger, a little bit of garlic. Um, a lot of them use fresh garlic cloves, but today I just want to use minced garlic because that's my business, as Auntie Tab say. And of course you need a little bit of salt because we don't do bland nowhere over here, honey. Okay. And the first thing I'm gonna do is marinate the chicken. So I have thighs. Um, most of them use chicken thighs because it's, you know, a juicier part of the chicken. Most of them use a teaspoon of everything. Y'all know we don't really measure, but for this one, I don't want to OD on anything. Um, I'm gonna try it like how they did it because I mean, that's their business that I'm, I'm in. Use a half a teaspoon of salt. Cause y'all know I'm gonna put some more, we need some more, but sit down. A teaspoon. Cause I basically just put that in there. This one I don't be measuring cause it's too much. You just put, put it in there. And she did use all purpose, but again, all all purpose is a seasoning. So I like the ring. So I put a teaspoon and a half of oregano cause I want to. All right, so bet. Uh, I don't know if I forgot to tell y'all now, but you definitely need one white onion. We're gonna... So anyway, life's great. Um, all right, so now I'm gonna add some garlic. I just made it a little bit smoother for me to work with. So for the ginger, you only need a little bit. I know ginger strong. And I couldn't use the grater, but I didn't feel like it because it's a lot of dish and I don't wanna do all this. Not me forgetting to add the main doggone ingredient, y'all. Doggone. You me. Up this onion, so don't forget to have your wet paper towel because why? Onions absorb the closest source of moisture. And if you have this paper towel, then it shouldn't get to your eyes and draw the moisture from your eyes. I probably should have used a bigger knife. Don't judge me, judge your mom, it's okay. We're gonna put that to the side. Next step is to go ahead and um, cook the chicken about a tablespoon of butter. If you're not good with measurements, because we ain't been measuring, they got you. And yes, I'm using Imperial. You wanna know why? Because Imperial is butter, but it's not milk butter. So it's really more vegetable oil spread that could change this recipe a little bit. If you're gonna use regular butter, it will have milk, so it'll probably make it a little bit more creamy. I'm not here for none of that. Split don't care. Why that's doing that though? We're gonna do I'm gonna wash my rice because I'm gonna use jasmine rice. They normally um, pair this with basmati rice because basmati rice is more um, on the Indian side and jasmine rice is more on the Asian side. But it's okay because we gonna do what we do. We're gonna do it well. You know, um, rinse it really well. I am going to add a little bit of coriander to my rice. I never used coriander before, but I use it a lot, a lot, a lot in Indian food. That's their stuff. Oh, and I'm, I'm gonna add a bit of pepper to my rice because I like for my rice to have some fragrance, okay? So I got my rice clean. Um, I don't know about nobody else, but they be talking about wash your rice three times. I wash my rice so the water is clear on period, okay? Um, and I do the old um, Asian method because this older Japanese lady who died used to work at the seafood restaurant taught me how to measure my water to my rice. And that is you take your index finger, if half of the uh, rice, the rice go to the half, the rice go to the halfway mark the water should go to the first line. So that's how I do my rice. Do well, you know, take this out, and guess what? We're not dirtying up a whole bunch of dishes, so rinse that bowl out real good, sis. Cause I don't live here anymore. You abandoned me. You abandoned me. And 
I feel like I need to add butter as necessary. So do what you do, but don't judge me. Yeah, I just want to put a tinge. That's it. I don't know, I probably use a little bit too much coconut cream, but it's alright. Yes, this is the creaminess that we want. Bag with the juice, did you see that? That juice, that juice right there. You need that. Okay, that's called flavor. It's called bus. You got to have the knives, okay? She ain't had no knives, she ain't right here. She flopped it. Okay, you got to have the knives in the food. I'm gonna take some So, what I'm gonna do is take some garlic. I'm talking about, we like garlic. They don't even know how much they like garlic. It's just, you know, I be putting, <laughs> I be busting it down. This could be melted some more as well, but guess what? I don't feel like it. <laughs> no, it's really because it's going to bust down with the, um, with the juices from the garlic. You don't really need it to be liquid. Did get some nine bread, but the only nine bread Safeway had left was the whole wheat nine. I'm gonna do one of those just to see because the whole wheat is good. I feel, I mean, I brought the whole wheat, but I also got some um, pita bread. This is my favorite pita bread, Joseph's. Um, I don't know who Joseph is. He's probably a Hawaiian. Uh, I could have put real parsley, but I didn't have time for it. I'm gonna just Safeway and got out, okay? And the clip was in there too long anyway. They tried to charge me $15.99 for the $13 war. I had to go through the dog on custom stuff. So she rings up my stuff, right? And I'm like, okay, well, this is ringing up for a different price. So she was like, okay, well, um, you can go to customer service and they can refund you or whatever the difference. I'm like, okay, bet. I had to go take a picture of what the price, the real price was so I could show the man. By the time I come back up, there's another lady in front of me in the line, y'all. Story time real quick. This lady in front of me, she is um got her little coupons in her hand. She asking them for the safe way. A lot of the older people in there, when they go in there, they really take these rain checks serious. So if they try to get something that's not available, they go straight to customer service and they say, hey, I want this item at this sale price. It's not available. And if you do a rain check, that means that they have to honor the sale price when it is available, even if it's no longer on sale. And these people here do not play about their rain checks. Anyway, she come back with all the stuff, y'all. The lady that I was on was mad about the carrots. They're supposed to be buy one, get one free for a pound of carrots or something. But they was out of the baby carrots that she wanted, the, the one pound bag. So she trying to get the two pound bag and said it like, no, I can't do it. They trying to tell she can get a one pound bag of the regular carrots. She up there talking about, well, this time I thought y'all ran out of, out of carrots. And I feel like it shouldn't be my fault that y'all don't, y'all can't honor this. I feel like it's false advertising. I'm saying it look like, ma'am, them people ain't got them people. The carrots is gone. Like, they, the man trying to explain her, you know what I'm saying? We can't sell you something we don't have. And she's just like, and they already said it's not, it's not a rain check situation. These is a get one free, whatever. She held up the whole line about these all carrots, y'all. It ain't never been serious. That was my lesson for the day. And I did a good job because I sat there. I didn't complain. I didn't huff or puff. I just said, she really want her carrots. And that's a business. I didn't really understand it, but it wasn't me to understand. So, growth moment for me. Good job. Everybody clap. <laughs> All right, now, on um, the bus down. Perfect.
Yeah, for the real the real the real real. We got to find out do it bust or no. Is it giving butter chicken or no? Slap. Bust down for the bust down. One time on the game. Okay. Top of game kitchen. You already know what it is. Like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you share and stay tuned for more. Let us know what y'all want us to bust down next. I'm half Indian now. I'm weak. Get out. <laughs> we done. <laughs>